All right. So um, the few of the brave people in the audience, if you want to come forward and ask us questions, that'll make the 10 minutes go even faster. Um, should I get started? All right. Um, so I'm here to talk to you about our OCP Experience Center, which is back over there. And my friends on my stage are the companies exhibiting in the OCP Experience Center. Um, we, the, our Experience Center is about a project called the Open Domain Specific Architecture. And it's to, build, uh, it's, it's to build what we call the open chiplet economy. So where you can buy, where, where we're constantly aiming to reduce the friction in chiplet development. So really, I've, if you've seen yesterday's keynotes, if you've seen everything else, basically the, the whole world is around compute requirements have exploded. And, uh, and for many cases, because compute requirements have exploded, chiplets are the answer. And chiplets in the sense of larger chips and more complex chips. And here you see two examples from NVIDIA and Intel, where, um, where, you, uh, uh, where you split a large die into many smaller die, or you have special purpose die for specific functions inside the package. Now what happens is, designing with chiplets is very different from designing with regular monolithic ASICs. And it requires what we call bringing the value chain, the supply chain, forward. Normally, designers don't care about things like packaging technology, foundry, in a chiplet inventory at a fab, what kind of interconnect they have. All of these things have to be brought forward in the design chain. And this is pretty complex. And so that's why, for the most part, all the chiplets that you see are chiplets from very large companies. Uh, so you see the verti large, vertically integrated companies that own their own supply chain. And what we're trying to do in the open chiplet economy in the o OCP is to create an open chiplet economy through multiple projects so that companies can make their own chiplets work with, reduce, constantly reduce the friction in making chiplets. And we do this in about f with five or six work streams. One is the idea of how do you make it easier to do business with chiplets. The second is the idea of building prototypes. Uh, the third is re creating reference material. And finally, we also define interfaces for chiplets. And this isn't some abstract concept. We've seen what the work in our, our group and and um, in other groups have a direct impact on sort of what is the, the talk of the moment, AI. And what you see are my uh, uh, exhibitors here who are essentially solving very specific problems in AI, related to AI and large devices. So we've got our center sponsored by ASC, Lee Hong, who's made this, and, and Patricia and Bill, and, and with very large packages for chiplets. And we've got actual examples of chiplets for high performance networking in the data center and AI. We've got Kandu, uh, Majid from Kandu, who's, who you can, see, you can see a working demo back there in terms of providing much higher bandwidth. AI needs three things, bigger chips, more bandwidth, more memory access, more everything. So then we've got a company called Blue Cheetah, which is in the business of providing much more bandwidth into AI accelerator chips. And finally, we've got a, uh, we've got a, a pair of demos from Siemens and uh, Thrace which talk about how the workflow for making chiplets, how to make complex workflow with chiplets. So that's their demo here. And finally, we've even got an academic institution, UCLA, which talks about advanced packaging and packaging technologies of the future. So you're welcome to see all the demos out, um, out in the future. And I will pass the mic around. We've got about six minutes, so about 30 seconds each. I did talk about D-Matrix up front. D-Matrix is an accelerator, so I'm going to pass the mic around for about five minutes, 30 seconds each. And if you'd like to say something about Okay, uh, thank you, uh, Bapi. Uh, I'm from AAC, and uh, AAC is uh, the biggest uh, integration on the packaging for chipless integration and also for the assembling test. We are here to support OCP, especially for AI open ecosystem, and that is our key driver. And we're working with close with the system house and IDM, so we are, we are here to support you as needed. Thank you. Thank you, Bappi, for, for organizing this, and thank you, Li Hong, for sponsoring the, uh, the uh, Experience Center. I'm David from Trace Systems, and we develop software that um, enables architects to quickly export different chiplet options. We have a catalog, and um, most importantly, please come by and check us out, see what's interesting. And uh, our intent is to reduce the friction of creating chiplet-based systems. Tony Mastriani from Siemens EDA. I'm driving our packaging strategy, uh, working on workflows 
And one of the initiatives that we're doing through OCP is we are collectively working with foundries, fabs, OSATs, and EDA vendors to come up with a common set of design kits that are built on standards and they're machine readable, and those are gonna be necessary to support the, uh, the workflows. So I'll be talking about that tomorrow morning if you're interested in that. Hi, I'm Ankit from D-Matrix. We are a Gen AI accelerator, as Papi said, and uh, die to die uh, plays a very critical role in what we are trying to do and provide a sustainable solution for Gen AI. Thank you. Hi, my name is Majid Fudei. I'm with CanDo. CanDo is a fabless semiconductor company, a late stage startup, and we are uh, showcasing a, a, a chiplet-based uh, PCIe CXL, Gen 5 PCIe uh, CXL, uh, showing that uh, chiplet economy is real, and uh, uh, this is actually productized, it's an available product, and it's going to help in the uh, uh, data center, the segregated architecture, and we're happy to uh, give you some more detail, it's really an exciting demo, uh, uh, showcasing end-to-end -end, uh, data center from uh, CPU to the retimer, switch, and endpoint. Thank you. Hi, uh, John Lipinski from Blue Cheetah. We develop uh, chiplet die-to-die -die interconnect IP. A lot of our die-to-die -die interconnect IP today is being used as the fundamental building block for a lot of chiplet ecosystems developing. Uh, many of these early ecosystems are developing around o OCP BOW standard, and it is evolving into even some custom type applications. And a lot of these vendors that are creating these ecosystems are using our IP interconnect. Um, we're here demoing our Blue Links IP, which is predominantly the most commonly being used right now in most of the tape outs happening. Our interconnect IP can be found in uh, about seven different semiconductor process nodes in two different foundries today. So it's actually being uh, used quite a bit. Uh, hello, I'm Kritikesh from UCLA. So uh, in, at UCLA, we also do a lot of work on advanced packaging as well as data -day interfaces. Uh, so basically, uh, we are showcasing some of our, the work that we have done here, both in advanced packaging and wafer scale processing. So please feel free to come and uh, visit our, our booth in the Experience Center. We'll talk more about it. Thank you. Thank you all. That was uh, super quick. So in terms of first, we've got the the OCP and JEDEC have released a language by which you can describe chiplets. As far as we know, it's one of the first out there, open standards. And every chiplet made is going to have a description in a, what's called a JEP30 format. And you can see a demonstration of this JEP30 format here. Uh, we have a company called Zero ASIC that's rolling out their product for the first time. They couldn't be on the stage with us. Uh, that, that's, uh, that's a first. And uh, the bunch of wire standard is from, from our company. So we've got a couple of companies demonstrating that standard. So a lot of firsts. And we've got ASC with extraordinarily large packages. So please come on over and uh, visit the demos. This is the first time you'll see a transition from slideware to actual chiplets, IP, and workflow. Uh, this, to our knowledge, is the first time it's been put together with open products. Everything else is with closed products. So come on over and uh, check the stage out. If there are any questions for anybody on stage, now's a really good time to ask. Uh, we've got a full 90 seconds. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you all. Thank you for your time.